going to be going over the modal component. So let's he head over to our components folder that we've made in the previous videos. And what we're going to do is add a new file called modal component.js. And what we're going to add here is RF and E. And we're going to get rid of this part. And now we are going to start on the functionality of our modal. So we can go back to app.js and add in the modal component. Make sure you click the one with the path and that's going to be self-closing. And now you can see our text is displayed on the screen. Okay, let's go back over to here and we're going to set up our style sheet. So RNSS and then make sure you import it from React Native. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is give this view, our centered view, a style. And this is gonna be styles.styles, the styles.centered view. <clears throat> okay, so we'll style it later, but we're gonna move on to the next uh, part. So the next one is going to be modal. That's going to be a parent. There we go. Like this. And uh, make sure we import it from React Native. <clears throat> okay. And then, so this modal has a couple props. And it's going to be animation type which is going to be slide. So it could slide from the right, up, whichever way. And we're going to have transparency equal to true. So transparent equals true. And then we're going to have visible is equal to a use state, which we'll set up in a minute. And then we're going to go up here, do const an array. And this is going to be modal visible and set modal visible. And then we're going to have use state and then make sure we import that from React and set the initialized value to false. <clears throat> okay, so the use state is set up and now what we wanna do is set this visible to modal visible. So this is kind of like a, a, a ref for when um, we wanna make it visible or invisible. Okay. And what we're going to do is on request close. So this is going to be used to close it. We're going to have an arrow function. And it's going to have an alert from React Native dot alert. We're going to have um, a little message in here. And it's going to be modal has been closed. Okay, then the next line is gonna be set modal visible to not modal visible, which makes it <clears throat> true. So it closes it. All right, so after that, we're going to start styling what the modal looks like. So we're gonna have a view and this is going to be another view and then we're gonna have a text inside of that view and after that text we're gonna have a pressable component pressable and this is going to be like this and another text 
and then that's all that's going to be inside this mold. So we go like that. And so let's start giving them styles. And the style equals styles. Styles dot center view. So they have the same style as the top one. And we're going to have style equals styles dot modal view. And then we're going to have a style for the modal text. And then this is going to say, I don't know, something like, hello world. And then on this pressable, we're going to have two properties, which is the style. That's going to be styles dot button, but we're also going to have this in array so we could um, change something else about it. We have styles dot button. Styles button, and we're going to have styles dot button close. Okay, that's it for that one. And then we're going to have an on press method. <clears throat> which is going to have set modal close. No, set modal visible and that's going to be not modal visible okay now we're going to ha uh, go to this text this is going to have high modal and we're going to have styles dot modal oh, style e equals styles dot modal alright back 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 styles that text out there we go and that's it for the modal or one more pressable actually which is going to be outside of the modal right here And this is going to be a parent. And it's going to have a text inside of it. Which is going to say a show modal. There we go. So plus a precedent. But it's not a touchable opacity, so you can't see it if you clicked it unless you had a console.log. And then this is going to have the same style is this one, except the second one is going to be different. So it's going to be styles.button closed, but it's also going to be styles.button open. And then we are going to style the text, and it's going to be set to styles. Dot, oh, style equals styles. Dot text style. <clears throat> there we go so now all our styles are set up now what we're going to do is go down here into styles and start setting up our styles so now you're going to see the app really come alive or the modal I should say so centered view is going to be flex1 it's going to have a justify content of center, center, and then we're going to have a line item center. Center, and a margin top of twenty-two. So that's it for the centered view. We're going to have a modal view. And this is going to have a margin of 20. Oh. 
margin of 20. And we're going to have a background color. Of white. Let's get rid of this. We're going to have a border radius also. Of 20. And let's not forget the comma. And we're going to have a padding of 35. Again, the comma. And then a line item center. Okay. Now we're going to come back to that later because we're going to add a shadow to it. And we're going to have a button. Border radius of 20. We're going to have a padding of 10 and an elevation of 2. Alright, now we're going to go to button open. <clears throat> button open it is going to be just a simple one which is background color of let's just say uh, green there we go or we could do something a little bit nicer easier to see like a uh, dodger blue okay and then for the button close is going to equal background color of probably a red. And then now we're on to textile. In textile, the color is white. And we are also going to have it as font bold. So font weight is bold. So you can see it a bit better. And text align center. Okay. And last one is going to be modal text. And this is going to have a margin bottom of 15, of 15 and a text align of center. All right. So now that we have all of those out the way, let's click it. Oh, one second. Hmm. Show model. Should click it. Oh, I see right here. We don't have the on press method. On press is going to be set to an arrow function. Set model not visible, but we're gonna have this actually as mo uh true. So now we see our modal pop up. We could actually um, change the background color of uh, the modal view to like um, green. So now you can see the whole thing. And we'll maybe fix this. There we go. So there's our modal. Um, that's going to be the end of the video today, guys. Uh, thank you for watching if you would like to see any more like 
deeper explanation on how to use this model with the set state function or um, how to do, use different types of models, then uh, please put it in the comments and thank you for watching. Have a great day.